Hey. Hi, my love. Hi. <laughs> Becky, how are you? Hi, Ocean. <laughs> I'm relaxing on my, my recliner because my IV is killing me. <laughs> I'm not believing this. Where in the hell have you been, Brett? <laughs> Brett, oh my gosh. Brett, I need surgery. I need surgery. I'm in, I'm, oh, I'm in so much pain with my knee. It's crazy. And right now it's like really throbbing. I have a torn meniscus and high gel. A torn meniscus and another torn ligament and a sprained ACL along with a whole bunch of arthritis so yeah i'm doing doing great <laughs> so oh hello hi so i'm taking off all my nails look at my nails how gross right taking off and they're all jagged mm. and they're like stabbing me <laughs> don't mind the hair do what's going on oh thank you for the prayers i'll be fine um, oh, thank you, Angel. I, I went to go see my friend Sarah today because, you know, I'm making all these Christmas kind of, um, Christmas decor. Really, really nice. And, um, I was delivering it today to her and she just recently got the, the meniscus surgery. And she said it was horrendous. Like, it was, she was in a lot, a lot of pain. And she said going up and down the stairs was really, really bad. I don't, I don't know if you can see my stairs. It goes up this, like those steps going, wait, those steps going up, and then it goes all the way up. And it's 18 steps all the way up. So I think that this recliner is going to be my best friend for at least a week, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie Lynn. Thank you. From Paradise, California. That sounds nice. Oh, this nail is jagged and I just want to bite it. But I got me some fake teeth, so I don't know if I should. 18 steps. Yes, crazy. I said, you know what? I'm getting older. I told Dennis our next house must be a ranch. I don't want any steps. All the bedrooms need to be on one floor. I hate them. Can't. The trick is going up, going up and coming down backwards. Backwards. Oh, stepping down like that. Okay. Is that what you mean? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to sit on my butt and just go down. But you know what? It's not even the stairs from what I hear. It's getting in and out of bed. Like sitting on this recliner, like I sit and then I just recline back and then when I want to get up, I'm up. I already have my walker ready for after I have surgery. Um, let me see, how are the kids? What are their ages now? What have you been up to? Right, you gotta call me. Come on now, come on. Just gotta call me. You my friend now? It might be better to stay on the recliner. Yes. When? I can't see that. What I okay, wait. Dislocated my shoulder, reclining with my whole three weeks. <gasps> my back is gonna kill me on this recliner, but I've done it before. I've done some days on the recliner after surgery, certain surgeries. I stayed on the recliner, so it wasn't that bad. I, excuse me. I'm just I'm a belly sleeper, and I sleep all over, so. For me to sleep on my back is like a big deal. And not only that, I wake up from snoring <laughs> when I'm on my back. Oh, it's crazy. But the good thing about this is I'm not gonna get up. I'm not gonna clean. I'm not, I'm not doing shit. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Not. Let me tell you something, with this knee, all I do, all I do is I work here, I clean, I cook, I clean again, and I'm not going to. I, I'm not going to be able to. I can't wait. I 
can't wait. When am I, when is my surgery? I have no idea. I go on the 12th at 12 o'clock and I speak with my orthopedic for the first time because when I went, I spoke to the PA who then ordered the MRI, which was grueling, gr gr grueling. <laughs> um, and then the only appointment they have is October 12th. So it was a long time to wait, but he didn't have anything. And I had to keep the appointment. What was I gonna do? So I feel like I've made it worse because, you know, there are times when it gets really, really swollen, you know, and then sometimes even like laying here and reclining like this, my knee, I can't even explain, like when I get up now, I feel like my knee is cracking, it actually does crack, oh my god, it feels so bad, it sucks, it sucks getting old with the pains and all that shit, it's not fun, so I took off my nails, Look, look, look. I still got polish over here. They look gross. That's because I bought a whole new nail system. I'm going to do my nails. Maybe I'll do them live so you can see how I do my nails. Love it. Would you guys like to see that? Yeah. Hang out. We could talk. Maybe drink some wine. Do my nails. It'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. Order new glasses because these glasses are driving me insane. I feel like the secretary from the 60s. I don't know. I don't know. I, who's that? Let me see. I had the surgery. Yes, it was very painful. <laughs> no pillows under the knee. Wait. Uh, I lost that. Uh, causes contracture of the muscles and it will not straighten out as normal. Lesson learned. Oh, good thing to know. See, I'm sure he'll tell me all these things, but I always take the the advice of the people who actually went through it, you know? <gasps> Shirley, my girly. Hi. I got my glasses through. Who? Zenny. Really? I get mine. I get mine from Fermo. I do. I actually did the same ones that I have. Do you remember the, the glasses I had? Before these, they were square, they're big. Love, love them. People used to say I look like um the old guy in Up. The movie Up, it's got those big square glasses. Uh, I got the same ones, but they're transitioned. So now when I go out, they turn into nice little sunglasses. Love them. I love them. I can't wait to get them. Let me see. Okay, you have to get the motorized beds. We got two twins together. King head one this way. You can go up and you can sit down. <laughs> Not getting younger. It's the best investment we have made. Oh my God. My mother and my father had the craftmatic beds years ago. I'm talking about, I would have to say, oh God, almost 30 years ago, I would think. Yeah, about. Oh, my mind's just weird. Um, yeah, they were cool. I'm on the phone. Hold on here. I can't hear what you're saying, but we'll listen later. Oh, Shirley. How you're amazing. Even when you're in pain, you saw good spirits. Oh, thank you. I have to have good spirits. Because you, could you imagine if I complained and I cried all day? Which I do feel at times. I don't. I do, but I try to keep myself busy. Oh, my hairline looks really far down now. Because I'm leaning on it. I bought this bun. This, this bun. You can't really see because my hair's on top. Today, I treated myself. Now, tomorrow, I go to my nail supply. The best nail supply ever. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing the dip. My SNS dip powder. Wait until you see what oh my goodness. So easy. Because you have to learn, you know, you're in the pandemic and when the nail salons weren't open, you need to learn how to do all this shit. So I learned how to cut my hair. Learn how to do my nail even though I know how to do nails, but 
you know, the tip nails that we'll know. That's that you have every right to complain. Oh, yeah, yeah, Lee. To complain. But you always have a great outlook on life. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Alright, I want to see something. Okay. Oh, I can't see myself. Oh, they disappear. Okay. That's a scary look, huh? <laughs> At least every time I go on FaceTime, right? I hear the phone ringing, but I'm always making like silly faces. Like if my sister, if I FaceTime her, when she answers the phone, I'm always like this. Or, or. <laughs> oh, I love it. And then she takes pictures. She don't, oh. <laughs> she don't think that I know that she takes pictures of me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let me read some of these comments. What, God? What? Oh, God, Brett, I missed you again. Oh no. Oh, I missed you, too. How's the wifey? How's she doing? Ah, I miss getting on here, you know, but sometimes making the videos and editing and doing all that, sometimes it just takes a lot, and you know what, I just like coming on live, this way, um, wait, we are, you are what, what were you going to say, Brett, you're having, oh my god, you're having a boy, Number five. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. Oh, we carry Lynn. I've had really bad depression since the campfire. What? What do you mean? Since the campfire? And I have to tell you, your videos are really. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're depressed. Oh. I don't like hearing that. But if I can make you smile a little bit, I did my job. I did my job. Maybe I could sing to you. Yeah. Well, you might not. You might not smile. You might cry. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a baby shower to go to on Sunday. Oh, uh, I'm like a little nerve because it's outside. It's outside, but with tents. So is it technically outside? You know, like, I don't know. I don't know. You know, and, and I'm afraid because if I have to get my surgery, you know, I have to really stay away from somebody, from people, campfire, in Paradise, California. Oh my goodness. Oh no, what's my glasses? I'm gonna be, be on the glass of man. Let me see. Oh. Campfire in Paradise. Campfire. It was. Oh. oh. Did you lose? Did you lose your home or anything? Um, I don't like hearing that. Like today I heard what a horrible story of a mother who lost, I think, two or three of the kids in a fire. And the mother is in critical condition. I would be like, seriously, I really feel I wouldn't want to live. I would not want to, if my children, if all my children died from that, no. I would be pissed off if they let me live, really. Ugh. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Imagine having that survivors, what, what is it called? Survivor's remorse. Is that what it's called? Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hurts. Hurts in the middle of the night. Oh, it sucks. I just got high five kids. Oh my god. Oh, please. You know, you know, some of my kids, they drive me up. 
freaking wall. But my God, if I I wouldn't know what to do. So sad. Yeah. Yeah, that shit in California is no joke, man. So sad. All these things that are happening around the world. It, it, it just, it, it, it can get you depressed. It really can. It really can. I, I... Now Cancun, I heard, is getting hit with a Category 5 hurricane. I'm like, oh my god. So the news guy was saying today, you know, a, a lot of local, um, a lot of people from here went to Cancun and they're telling them they need to evacuate soon. They need to go home, get somewhere else. Oh my god. Disaster is all over. It's crazy. <laughs> you can't spell tonight? I can't speak tonight. Plus, I took an ambient. So, it's like slowing me down a little bit. Slowing me down. I, you know, I tried other things to help me sleep. And ugh, even though I hate ambient, I take it. I take it because it really does help me. And, and I wake up refreshed, you know? It's not like I wake up groggy or bitchy or... Nope. I wake up nice and refreshed, so... What's the harm there, huh? What is the harm? What is the harm? Any good movies you guys are watching? Any series you can recommend? I started watching again. I wa Shh, don't tell Dennis. Because I watched Haunted at Hill House. But he never saw it. So I lied. And I said that I never saw it. So I can watch it again. Because in this old mine... The whole show. That's that. I feel like I didn't watch it long enough. So we're watching it again. And we're watching Power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys watching Power? Power is a shit. Power's good. Um, my head is itchy. I don't know why. It might be the piece because it's been in. Um, let me think. Let me think. Gonna be a painful surgery. Mm. It's gonna suck. Mm. Um. Yeah. So, you guys watching anything? Anything you could recommend? Greenleaf. Greenleaf. Did I hear that? I think I heard that's good. Oh, I love your ah, oh, your banana recipe. Oh my God, Mike. Did you make it? Did you make it? Because that recipe, oh my god, is so poor. I think I'm gonna make that. That, see, like before I go in the hospital, I think I'm gonna make those big meals. This way, everybody's got everything to make, to eat for the week, at least for the week. You know? Mm -mm -mm. I should do another video singing, really. Oh, thank you. I can't bite my nail. Fuck. What I had. I had. My little nip up. And I do not want to get up. Did you guys see my video? I don't know. Let me get up a little bit. This is going to hurt me. So bear with me. Ready? Oh, please. My journey sucks, Caroline. My journey sucks with this freaking sleeve. No joke. I feel I feel a little bit of restriction, but not a lot. And then, you know, then you got people saying, eh, you know, you have to be mindful and stop when you're not hungry. I'm freaking hungry. So, well, I don't understand. I feel like I eat less. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm looking at people and they're like, oh, I can't finish these two grapes. And I'm like grapes i can eat a sandwich if i wanted to it doesn't i don't know i don't know it's and they're like it's mental it's mental i know it's mental it's what got me fat to begin with 
it's the reason why I could never lose weight because it's in my head. So what do I do? What do I do? See a therapist? I'm going to see a therapist, like virtual therapist? I, I don't know. I don't know. Something has to give. I can't exercise. Excuse me. I can't exercise. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to do. But anyway, let's let's get back. Sorry, I got the hiccups. It's because I got up too soon. <laughs> too soon. See, when you see live, you see the real dream. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if a little boogie going to come down my nose. We don't know that. But it's cool, because you will love me, and I love, will love you. Okay, so I ordered this. Mm -mm. I got to rip this off. It, oh, it's, mm, look at that, see? Can you see that? Look at that. It's killing me. Why do you not feel restriction? Do you think they, I, I definitely don't think they took a lot of my stomach. Listen, I went with him for the lap band. And when he did the lap band, after one week, my lap band port flipped. And it was very, very hard to get to the port to fill it, to make everything so tight. And therefore, I never went back. I never went back. So, um, and then I went back with him for the sleep and the only reason why I went back to him is because he he's in a um where the hospital is there's always parking I need convenience I'd rather go see a mediocre doctor which he's not a med I mean you know he's on the board wherever that board is but I would rather see a mediocre doctor and knowing that I can get parking then see the the best doctor, sorry, the best doctor in the world, and you can't find friggin' parking. I need love this. So, um, I don't know. I just, I don't know if I feel like he took enough. And even my daughter went to him, and although she looks amazing, she still did not lose what she should have lose, lost, lost. She did not lose what she should have lost. And we're in all these group group um, pages, and none of them went to doctor, my doctor, or her doctor, same doctor. And yet, we feel this way. So, I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Very, very weird. Oh, Paula. Hello, love. Hello. I'm sorry, Ms. Dunn. We got a reverend up in here. God, look, please, please. Are we going to look at my nail? Kill me. No, not really, but you know what I mean. I asked to see your medical records. What? So you can see. Really? Can I? You think I can? I just feel like I'm going to be judged when I go there. You know, like, oh, you really didn't lose. I mean, mind you, I lost 50 pounds. I gained some of that back. And I really, really try not to eat the bad thing. And, and it's crazy because even when I was doing, I'm doing so well, when I get on the scale, that sucker does not move. I don't know why. Whatever, whatever. I still feel much better than what I was. Much, much, much better. I'm sure I would feel much, much, much better if I lost more, you know? But it is what it is. What am I going to do? Let me show you guys what I'm making. Okay. Let's watch June get out of this chat first. You might hear a crack. You might not. Okay. So this is what I do. I sit here and I pray for a second <laughs> that when I get out of this chair, my knee don't crack and I fall to the ground. Oh God, I mean nipper. All right, so I sit here and I go, okay. Because I don't know if my knee is going to lock up because that's what it does. So we go like this. Oh my God, let me take my charger out. I stand up, which isn't so far from the recliner because it's so short. 
And then, oh, it hurts so bad. It just hurts. And then I'm going to walk. <laughs> so I got to walk like an old lady. But wait, I'm going to put you down here. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Okay, so let me show you what I made. Come on. I am very, no, I know I'm good. I need this. Excuse me. Now, mind you, this is made from wood. A little piece of wood that I painted and I did a water decal. I made a water, water decal and I put it on this, but not only that, I put resin over it so it looks like it's a tile. Look at this. Look how shiny it is. Can you see that? Can you shut the TV? That would help. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at this. Can you guys see that? I can't really see it. Huh. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Look how shiny. It's like glass. It's crazy. I made this. I made it for my sister. And then all of a sudden, I got a million orders for them. So I have to make sure that I do these orders before I go into surgery. I also made this. How cute is this? It's an elk cam. It has a cam. It's a nightlight. How cute, right? These are the things I do. So let's walk over here. Let's show you. Like, because I'm a bougie bitch. I need the Tom Plain. <laughs> Um, play. let's see. Um, I'll show you these. This is my doggy. That's my baby doggy. That's my baby doggy. Anybody remember what my doggy's name is? Let's see. Let's see who writes what my baby doggy's name is. Let's see. <laughs> What's my baby dog's name? Nobody knows the name. No? Rosemary, hi, mommy. Then we come over here. Just gonna take you around the house a little bit. See, another Louis Vuitton thing. I love Louis Vuitton. I made that. Bougie bitch. This is Dennis. Can you see that, Dennis? My sister-in-law, Christine, the one that passed away. <clears throat> Can you believe, guys? In, in May, it'll be two years that she's gone. Like, I can't believe it. Mm. And me, that's my mama, Crazy Patsy Klein. Mm-hmm. Yep. We found this in the street. No joke. I thought it was gorgeous. Look how pretty it is. It's like a room divider. But, um, you know, I took it and we took it in. Oh, this is what I want to show you. So, I don't know if you're on my personal Facebook or TikTok, but... I uh, I did this video. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you over here. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta walk like this. I gotta walk like an Egyptian. Oh hi! This is why I like doing lives, hanging out with you guys and just being real. Cause you never know what's gonna. Oh, I thought that. Oh, that's me. Um, you never know what's going to come out of June's mouth. Yeah, you never know. Because this is the real thing. Okay, so we do this. Now we establish. I have no bra on. Okay. That's fine. So let me just show you this. I was laying down on the recliner, just scrolling through my, my, whatever, my phone. And I don't know if it's Instagram or or Facebook, but I kept seeing this ad for a lifelike monkey. It's coming out. Look at a lifelike monkey. So my daughter Melissa loves monkeys and she loves to be cuddled and hugged and all that shit. So I saw it. It was from Ashlyn Drake and this monkey up oh, man, I have a picture of it too. This monkey was just leaning of like the picture that they have. It's just hugging this girl, and it was like, okay, 
Definitely. They even showed a video of them taking the monkey out of the box. It was like 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 silicone. I don't know. So I ordered it. And I wasn't getting a confirmation like they sent it out. Nothing. I would constantly look at my email and I couldn't find it. And then I realized it came from a a website called Lucky Rocky. And like that doesn't sound familiar. So I click on it, it says this website is no longer available. So I'm like, all right, I just got freaking scammed. I got scammed. Tried to get my money back, couldn't get it back. Anyway, all right, forgot all about it. All of a sudden, this freaking box comes in. Oh, I can't tell you my address. Come on now. This box comes in the mail, and I'm like, I didn't want to. Brand moment or anything, but. I didn't order anything, so I'm like, um, what could this be? And I'm looking, what does it say? The, <laughs> it says, shipping departments in Cranberry South River Road in Monroe Township, New Jersey. I'm like, alright, I don't understand. Let's open the sucker up right now. You ready? Like, what did I order? What did I order? I looked in here and I wanted to throw up, okay? I went, oh my God, look who came in the mail. Are you ready? Brace yourself. This is, <laughs> this is the hugger doll. It looks like she has mange. Oh, but wait, look at her arms. Okay. Okay, look at the legs, you ready? Oh wait, 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 wait. Who, who made this? Because look, 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 what is this? I just don't understand. Even look in the freaking box. Go hair. Like, What is she hugging? Well, I mean, what is she, what is she hugging? You're gonna hug me? She's a head no film. She's a piece of freaking ceramic. What is she hugging? Oh, she's cute though. She didn't mean to be so scary looking. So we're gonna keep her. We're gonna name her. Her 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 shirt says trouble. So I think we're gonna keep her name trouble. I don't know. Aww. So that's it. This is my new baby, but this was supposed to be Annabelle. This is not Annabelle. Have you guys ever purchased something like late at night? Because you're like, oh my god, that's so cute. And then ends up with something like this. Look. <laughs> Look at the hair. Hey, with styrofoam in it. <laughs> See the baby's scalp. Look. Glued on the hands. Wait, look. Your hands. And the feet. Come on now. I can't. What the hell? <laughs> so funny. Poor baby needs a home. Yeah, I'm going to be her mommy now. This is my baby. That's it. That's it. She's part of the penny house. This is my baby. Trouble. She'll be featured in my videos. Okay? Aww. I'm scared of her. All right. All right, we'll just put you back in the box until we find a really, really good spot for your ass, okay? And that's it. So, wow, I'm on 35 minutes every day. I like going live. I love going live, you guys. I do. I love going live because I get to talk to you, you know? I don't have to set up. I don't have to put on the makeup, right? Put, you know, a contour a little bit of a hubble. June, where, when is your birthday? My birthday's in June. My birthday's June 19th. Yep. It's my birthday, and I will be 53. 53? Yeah. I don't feel 53. My knee does. <laughs> My back does, but I don't. Ow, 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 ow. 
see, I get this pain. So it hurts. It hurts. Okay. I don't get that one. Let me see. Creepy looking monkey doll. <laughs> yep. My little monkey. My little funky monkey. What could I tell you? And that's it. Let's all say goodnight, guys. You know? Look my poor nails. I mean, have you ever seen me look like this? Come on, meow. Really? Horrible. Horrible, I tell you. Horrible. And that's it. Alright. Um, yes, Brett. It's Lola. It's Lola. That's my girl. That's my girl. So anyway, yes, I am going to end this up right now. I need to get my ass. I really do. Um, and that's it. You know, I need to get to sleep. I need to relax. That's it. Tomorrow's another busy day, as usual. And I'll be on my feet all day. I don't think I'm cooking tomorrow because I think I'm tired of it. I think uh, somebody needs to cook for me. What do you think? Okay. That's it. Oh, wait. Let me show you what else I make. <laughs> you know, I make all kinds of things. So I made for someone. You ready? I made a weed rolling tray. How cool is that, right? Yep. Yeah, I made it. That's like the adidas sign but it really it's a pop sign isn't that cute i made that let me show you what else i made ah. oh. Oh. i use this for my pens though how cute this is thank you for being a friend oh isn't that cute what else did i make wait hold on hold on Let's go my kitchen. My kitchen's nice and clean today. It's a small kitchen. It will do. You ready? Look how cute. I made Louis Vuitton cups. How cute. Did somebody just ask if I'm wearing top? Wait. Are you wearing a top or, or a no track frontal? No track frontal, boo boo. No track frontal. I also made this. Look, a junky junky cup. And then I made this. I love this one. North Pole hot chocolate. How cute, right? Mm -mm -mm. That's it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I want to show you something else. I hope, I'm, uh, I hope I'm not bothering you guys. Look, sorry. That just hurt. You ready? Here we go. I'm going to turn around make these wood signs. Look at this. Where did that come from? Where did this thing come from? Let's see who knows. Anyone know? Yes, but where, like I got this saying from where? It's a movie. What movie? Come on, some of you would. This is like one of my favorite movies. Um, Clark Griswold. Who's Clark Griswold? Come on now. Oh man, this don't sound familiar. Maybe I am a little old. It's from Christmas Vacation. Hello, hello. Okay. Yes. Christmas vacation, and then I did this. Tell me what you think about this. I need that. Look at that. That looks good too, right? Need that too. Hi, Nathan. Yes, best movie ever. And that's it. All right, like I'm done showing everybody where we're going. Oh, wait, 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 one more, one more. I actually need this. Uh, look how beautiful it looks. It's very vintage looking. It's Dennis holding up his nephew. And I put it on wood myself. 
Look at that. Gorgeous, right? So I think I'm going to perfect this and start selling these. I think they're so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I try to be very crafty. I love, and if those of you who didn't see this one, I'm just going to show it again because I'm loving this. That's for my sister. Yep. All right. I think there's a probably bored of the shit. Let me turn you around. Hey. Hello. All right. So, um, that's it. I'm going to walk around for a little bit, exercise my foot, and then I'm going to go to bed. So, I am so happy. I'm so happy that I got on here and I was able to chat with you guys. Miss you all. I, I have to do more lives because I don't feel the pressure when I'm on here, you know? It's just like really real. And uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys have an amazing night. I will keep you all um, updated on what happens with the doctor. When I get my surgery, I'm sure your asses will be all in surgery with me. Well, not in surgery, but at the hospital. And um, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, and that's it. And then I'll see you when I'm healing. You know, if I can, you'll see me cry. You'll see me laugh. Oh, whatever. Anyway, I love you all. And I will see you again soon. I'll go live. Just keep your notifications on because I don't know when I'm going to go live. I just have to, it has to be like the right time. People have to be in their room. Because you, know, you never know what these people say. So that's it. I love you. I do. I love you so much. Thank you for sticking with me and, and just making me feel good all the time. And I hope I do that for you guys. Because that's what I want to do. Anyway. All right. I'm hanging up. I'm hanging it up. Okay. And every time I say I'm going to do that, I just didn't add a toy. How do you do it? Do I have to press this? Hey. Aw, thank you, Aileen. I love you guys. All right, I'm hanging it up.